And there goes Torres. And the ball bounded to second base and bobbled by Conrad. The throw to first base, not in time. So Brooks Conrad, who has struggled big time as of late in the field, and the Giants have runners at first and second, nobody out. There's too many options there that time for Brooks Conrad. Do you try to tag the runner? Do you try to flip to your shortstop? And ultimately he ends up dropping the ball. Everybody safe. Now, Bochi told us that they would probably play some hit and run today, just like he told us they would do the same against Derek Lowe in game one, an extreme ground ball pitcher. And that is charged an error to Brooks Conrad. Ross knocking in the only run of game one with a single in support of Tim Lincecum. And he swings and pops up the first pitch. And Brooks Conrad in right field makes, drops the ball. And the throw to first base and diving in with the run is Fontenot. So Conrad going out with his back practically to hold plate could not hold on to the ball. And Mike Fontenot, who had to wait, had enough time to come in with the run and the Giants take a one to nothing lead and another error has been charged to Brooks Conrad. I'll tell you what Dick a fully healthy Jason Hayward comes in and calls off Brooks Conrad on that particular ball. There's no way the second baseman should try to make this play over the shoulder looking back up into the sun but Hayward just could not get there in time. And it reaches out of one through the legs of Conrad in to center field. The run will score, and going to third base is Aubrey Huff and Brooks Conrad. Sees a shot go through his legs. It'll be his third era of the game, and the Giants take a 3-2 to two lead. Posey reaches out and pokes this slider to the right side. Just past second base umpire Jerry Lane, but right through the wickets of... Brooks Conrad, I tell you, they say errors are made with the glove, but I think right now it's between Conrad's ears. 